Fueled by DeathCast. The last time actually you were on the show, we were just talking about how incredible it was. Everybody getting back together in GNR and you guys were getting ready to go out on the road for not in this lifetime. And uh, it feels like it's been a lifetime since I've talked to you. And that tour is just been incredible for you guys. Um, is it everything you expected it to be and more? It's way more than I was expecting. Yeah. To how, how come? How so? I don't know. I guess I just didn't going into it. I don't think I realized what the reception was going to be yeah like that it was going to be that big i mean i mean really like it's guns and i don't know i don't know what i i I actually (laughs) actually i don't really remember exactly what i was expecting i was just sort of riding the wave and yeah uh, but yeah i did i don't i remember the first few shows were just like wow (laughs) this it was like it was pretty over the top that's great. And the reviews were great, and yeah. people were just so welcoming and so excited about it. It's been really great. Well, I can speak for all of humanity and say we missed the hell out of Guns N' Roses on a giant tour like this. And uh, it was great to just see all you guys back together uh, in full force. Um, and, you know, on that respect then, I got to ask, you said it was it was a little bit surprising. Is there any moment from from this tour that stands out to you that is like an oh shit moment or maybe like just something that surprised you? Um, I think doing uh, what was the the castle in Slain Castle, <laughs> doing that festival, yeah, um, which I'd done previously with Thin Lizzy. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember if I'd done it with guns or not, but flying in like in the helicopter to that and seeing this sea of people was really overwhelming. It was so big. And I think we set attendance records, but there's like a massive hill and then there's it goes down on the other side. And there were people on the other side of the hill that couldn't see the stage, but they had these giant video screens set up, which is just so bizarre to me. Wow. Okay. Go, but walk it back though. You flew in on a helicopter. Did you, did the helicopter land on the stage? Like, (laughs) no, no backstage because there's such a, there's such a big, um, I mean, it's a traffic jam for, for miles. Right. Right. Well, there's no way to get in. Hey, that's the most rock star way to get in, I guess. Right. (laughs) I guess so. Unless a submarine or something, (laughs) but it's Uh, pretty incredible to see, people you know to see that many people and then to know that there are people over the range that you can't see when you're on stage that's absolutely incredible and again when i had you on the show the first time you were talking about how magical it was you know with all these guys coming back into the fold you all kind of coalesced almost immediately and those first couple shows just felt good it was was your words where it's just everybody felt like they were on point and everything was kind of clicking did that just get better throughout the t- the tour absolutely yeah wow yeah so, we got better the more we practiced <laughs> that's that's incredible that's incredible and so then i have to ask because i know you've talked about it in the press is it, a new album is this really going to happen uh yeah i can't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I sure hope so. I mean, that's exciting. And I want to ask, like, without getting into what you can't talk about, when you guys are practicing and you guys are on the road and performing and stuff like that, do you kick around new ideas? Do you, do you like, yeah? Like, what is that writing process like? Because we sound check every day for a long time and we'll, we'll jam on different ideas that, that, you know, people come in with and we'll start playing something. We'll, and we record all that, you know, just really? have for reference. Yeah. Oh wow! So, so you guys are constantly like reinventing and reimagining and and just putting stuff out, putting stuff out there. That must that must make but it no, fun. Well, we're just constantly making music. I mean, right. it's sort of it's what we do. So when we're sound checking, we're just you know we'll just make music oh, that's and good. you know kick around ideas. Well, I, I, I do hope I do hope that it does coalesce into new music recorded from you guys because, um, like you said, you know, you got better throughout this entire tour and you guys are clicking on a different level now. It would be incredible to be able to hear that on a recording. 
yeah, the band is too good for us not to do a record, right? Right. It's, it's really like it's just such a magical thing to play with those guys. It, it, it's it's just too good to not record it. 